God has an expectation. God has a plan to see his expectation met. But a generation must come in alignment. And we say yes to Jesus. Ibarasya tabo meka baba kamande kaidatos. We will hold nothing, Jesus. You want a generation. We offer you one. Let the waitings come to an end. Will be what is spiritual growth. There are two basic expressions or two basic metric systems to define your advancement on the path of life. Or if you want, it's also called the path of spiritual progress, which is progress with the spirit. Two basic metric systems. Like you have meter and you have meter cube. Or you have meter square. They are metric systems. Measuring systems. Thank you Holy Ghost. That's what I wanted. Measuring systems. One is called spiritual development. The other one is called spiritual growth. There are many ways we can define them. But there is a clear definition in scripture. That your development has to do with how much you can do. Are you with me? How much you can do. Spiritual growth has to do with how much you have become. Are you with me? So it's a difference between doing and becoming. Bolu, are you developing in prayers? Yes. Because there was a time when you used to pray for five minutes and you say, bless the Lord. Ah! Five minutes, ten minutes. Can. But... After a while, five minutes prayer begins to bother you. Because there is a way the Holy Spirit administers a prompting to advance in both. So it tells you, oh, where I'm taking you to. Five, you will need 500 years of praying like this to achieve it. And you will break the Guinness Book of Records in modern day. So he will give, what he will do is that he will prompt your heart. And immediately he says, Ah, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, long, long. I can't achieve it. But if you say I should, help me. What it will do is that it will give you faith, which is God's capsule of possibility to get it done. So why you check the time? I actually did 12 minutes. I miss I can do 20 minutes. And that's how you begin to advance. You are not growing spiritually. You are just experiencing spiritual development. It is a sectoral intensification. So, if God gave, if you are given the gift of healing, for example, and then, well, based on our rating, medical people, I think that migraine is not, migraine and cancer are not made. No, I mean, am, am I right? Okay. I know even in cancer, they are, they are big brothers, they are small ones. Okay. So if you have been a master of migraine, understand that um, there is more. There is more. That's the language of the shift, either in development or in growth. So we are in development now. So um, that there is more that you can do. Because you think you don't have the faith for cancer. So when you hear cancer, you will not even pray at all. You will say, Bele, Bele, and walk away. Now, if it's a headache, I can handle it. I've shared with you that the first time I was faced with a dead body, I was the one that drove. They said, drive her to our hostel to rest. I said, the way this lady is doing, she will need the hospital. So I diverted our pastor's car to drive her to church and on the hospital, to hospital, teaches teaching hospital, and on the hospital where she died. I now sat down to say, come. Maybe if I took her home. <laughs> She will have survived. Someone leave me for my bye. Because of the pressure, I was crying, literally crying. Why did she die? Because she needed oxygen and it was raining. If you know that A and E, there's a generating set not too far from it. But 
the man who was going to switch on, they sat the man. The man who was going to switch on the generator, it's not as far as here to that door. Said, ah, he can't enter the ring. I mean, I knew what darkness. No, because it's not normal. We didn't have umbrella. We now look for doors being covered. You know those hospital doors being to cover his head. He said, okay, we'll try with this one, but he cannot enter the rain alone. Why we were trying to convince him, our beloved sister from our choir died. Ha! One day, they came out, they came out, they came out, so I began to look for, because faith comes by hearing. It means, the measures of faith that you carry, are locked into certain scriptures. You must find the one that solves this problem. So I found that there is a reality of sons which was expressed in Jesus. They are giving life, the God life. And that they are distributors. They can give to whosoever they wish. Ah! So I ran back. They are packed our sister's hand like this. They are started putting cotton wool in her nose. They, they are trying to use electricity to start her heart. And she didn't come back. So they packed her. And while we were weeping, I held her hand and said as the father had life in himself he has also given to the son to have life I am after the order of the son so I share my life with you <gasps> and then she came back ah! so that is not the end Nurse, it doesn't mean that I am growing I have taken another step are you with me in the ministry of, that is called the ministry of recovery we, had, we used to have two Lamy days. This precious one and another precious one in Lagos. We were in a meeting. And because somebody drank anointing oil, blessed by our father, the bishop, David Oedipo. And if you drink that anointing oil, if Satan is there, it will react. So the lady landed on the ground, twisted her two legs like three times. You can try it when you get home. Uh, start from your tie and let your leg enter and enter landed on the ground and she began to hiss like a snake and then from her tongue she had she began to spit in very straight lines <laughs> so they called somebody to say come and deal with this thing the person looked forward <laughs> what the person was saying in his mind was I have not developed that far I can't handle it so we were in church that day. So my friend Ben came and said, Pastor T, come and do this thing. I said, Ben, I'm not a pastor in this church. <laughs> so I face front. But you know, if you know Ben, you know Ben. Eh? You don't know Ben in winners. How many people know Ben? Ben is like a giant. So Ben grabbed the girl. I said, Tolu, follow me now. So I followed him and we entered the room. We had five bottles of oil and as we were pouring it on her she was mocking everybody all of a sudden she began to speed that thing and as everybody was running out the door jammed and there were only two of us in that room that, do you see the holy spirit uses those things to stretch you you now we will need to find a solution or this girl will, we will come out naked so I stood in a corner with the other lamb there and said, Ah, this one is a matured one. So we, we spoke in tongues, we did everything. And then I approached her. Another scripture came. When they hear me, they obey me. Her leg was hanged on the wall up like that. She was balanced with the back of her neck. And the leg was suspended, twisted like that. Bring your leg down. And then she dropped the leg. <laughs> I said this thing they walk up. So I neared the girl and commanded the spirit. It was a bad sight. Lift the thing lifted out the ground, slammed her from wall to wall to wall. Say, drop her down. Come out. So the thing came out. We now took our trophy. Say we won. And now presented her. I'm not too afraid of those things again. Because I have been stretched into a new plane. Are you with me? But that's not growth. That's not development. It doesn't mean that with that thing I cannot lie. It doesn't mean that I'm loving. It doesn't mean that I have peace. 
it doesn't mean that I can I can suffer long. Because I found out that one of the areas where you can test growth most easily is long suffering. <laughs> Ah, that Jibola, every time you cook, your, your roommate will eat. And after eating, you have not eaten. No. You know, there's a way to know somebody has not eaten. The food is still flat, right? The person eats everything. They now wash their hands inside the pot. And they, don't, and they leave the pot covered on the stove. So when you come, say, Kai! my porridge, my porridge. You will not, you will first go up. You know all these people that used to first bath before they eat. You now sit down, say, let me even watch one movie. And when you switch it on, you now try to serve. You find out that uh, it's water you have. The natural thing is to scream, is to start a fight. If you stay like that, we'll have been answering that other brother's question. How long does it take? That person will repeat that class. Because the Bible said that your model suffered the contradictions of men. He knew who he was. Every time you said, do you know me? You, you have failed. You will repeat that class. Because Jesus said to us that if you need to approach onto the cross, which is the last place of ex expression before glorification, you will need to deny yourself and act like a nobody. Amen. So, what we call spiritual growth also has a metric system. So, increasing measures or intensify, intensifying um, experiences in activity is what we call spiritual development. What we call spiritual growth is the increasing embodiment of the character of of the Christ. So we can create a biblical dichotomy that in the in, in spiritual growth you are labor in, uh, in spiritual um, development you are laboring around gifts. But expanded beyond those nine gifts. In spiritual growth you are laboring around fruit. So that's how we increase it. But there's a caveat. Because a man may be trying to achieve love more love outside the Christ. It is only spiritual growth on this lane if it is a byproduct. So it's the progressive embodiment of the character of the Christ because of fellowship with the Christ. So it's him you are learning it from. It's a cheat code into growth. It means the more you fellowship with the Christ, there's supposed to be a rub off. Are you with me? You are becoming more like him. So if we want to know how well you have grown the last one year or the, into the next one year, we will do an instantaneous um, laboratory test. We we'll send you to Mercy, for example. Mercy has some tools, some reagents that she can use to test you to know where you are now. And when we come next year, we will test you. We will look for somebody who has mastered how to offend people here and will tell the person to match your leg and walk away. We are waiting for you to say, your father, you see my leg. It means that you wasted one year. Because in spiritual development, you can sectorize your development. So I'm growing so much in fasting. I'm growing so much in healing. But here, they are, those are gifts. This one is what? It's fruit. It doesn't have S. I'm growing in love. I'm not growing in long suffering. It's a lie. If your love has grown, you will suffer long. I'm growing in love, but, but it's just patience. I'm not growing. Oh, stagnated patience is stagnated love. As a matter of fact, the fruit of the Spirit is love. Are you with me? All those other ones are actually expressions of the one and same love. So if you claim you are growing in love, but those ones are not increasing, then it means that you are a liar. So spiritual growth is the progressive 
conformity i'm giving another definition to the image of the christ as a result of sustained fellowship with the christ that's my definition of spiritual growth who is confused so god has an expectation god has a plan to see his expectation met but a generation must come in alignment and we say yes to jesus Ibarasia tabo meka baba kamande kaidatos. We will hold nothing, Jesus. You want a generation? We offer you one. Let the waitings come to an end.